Hi, this is Susha Surendran. So in my previous video, we have seen how to create a new application in WayMaker and how to create or import a DB and how to create tables and a relationship. So in this video, we are going to see how to create pages, UI pages in WayMaker application and how to wire them. So for vacation management application, I will be creating now four pages. So by default, inside the application, inside the WayMaker, when a new application is created, we have these many pages. So for our vacation management application, I will be creating four more. That is employees apply vacation pending approval and dashboard. So first I'm creating employees page. Choose template. Here we have a lot of inbuilt templates the way maker is providing and time being selecting a blank template, create. So this is my employees page. So for time being, I will be adding a label over here, widgets. And give the caption as employees. So the, if this is the properties tab. So in, and then this is the style tab. So in style class name, I'm giving it as H2 to bring up the class for H2 for this label. <coughs> so I will be creating apply vacation page. Choose template. In same blank template. The label will be dragged and dropped. So we have all the widgets over here. Data widgets, containers, form widgets, etc. Basic widgets. So what for time being, I'm using only the label to identify the pages. So here in the caption, I'm giving it as apply vacation, heading. And in the style editor, I'm mentioning it as a H2 class. A style editor, I can give styles for the background styles, border styles, and display styles. Pending approval, which is also I'm choosing a blank template. Class name as issue and the caption as pending approval. <laughs> Now the last page, which is a dashboard. So here I will be choosing a health dashboard template, which is similar to my purpose. So this is the health dashboard. And later on, we can remove the or change the dashboard accordingly. Currently, I'm just editing the heading. I make it as just a dashboard. So these are the pages I have created, which you can see on the other page. Apply vacation, dashboard, employees, and pending approval. So along with that, we have common you know, footer, header, left now, login main right now top now so here in left now where the menus have been seen so i will be changing my left now according to my pages so i have the dashboard which is fine so instead of pending approval i will be using it as apply vacation
employees apply vacation and pending approval. So while clicking on each menu, I need to go to the respective page for that. This is the event editor. So here we will by input events can be seen. So for the menus, we can see on focus on blog and mouse events on click, double click on mouse center, on mouse leave, on tap, double tap. So for me, I'm choosing on click. By default, there will be a few actions will be given by the VMaker. So for each page, there will be actions like go to apply vacation, go to page dashboard like that. So for dashboard, I will, I'm selecting go to dashboard. For employees, I will be selecting go to employees. For apply vacation, it is go to Pending approval, it will be go to pending approval. So by this, we have created the four pages and uh, wired them. So let's preview this. We have the preview button on the top. So once clicking, preview window will be coming up. So here you can see dashboard, employees apply vacation and pending approval have been created. On clicking on dashboard, the dashboard page has come. On clicking on employees, you can see the employees page with the employees setting. Apply vacation, the apply vacation page and pending approval, you can see the pending approval. So this is the recording and this is the tutorial related to the create pages and wiring them. Thank you.